Today we released a new version of our API, and with the new version of the API there is a new crit component. The crit component is a great way to lay out media heavy information. We use it already for our emoji search as well as for our screenshot search. So let's dive right into the code to get started. So here we have a command that lists all our built-in icons and the search bar it has a drop down to change the color of the icons. So let me open a terminal on the side and then I navigate to the extension folder and I run npm run dev and now I can open the command. And here I see all the icons. I can also change the color here um, and I can search for the icons and I can copy an icon. But what we want to do now is like changing the list to a crit. And the nice bit about a crit API is that we model it the same way as the list. So you can go in here and say change all occurrences from list to crit and save that. You will get a warning because the crit item don't have an icon, but we can change that to content. And if I open it now again, I can see a crit. The crit is a little bit big. So let's make that smaller that it looks nicer. So for that we go on the crit and with a item size and we say crit.item size and we want to have small ones. Let's open the command again and we will see small icons. Um, it has eight columns, but still the icons feel like a little bit dense. So let's go back to our code and say we want to have inset and we want to have crit.inset and we actually want to have large inset. I think this looks the nicest. So let's open up our command again and this is really nice. So now with the all our icons, we can still search for them. We can also still change the color and obviously we can still copy. So this was just a quick demo of our crit API. It's super easy to use and I'm looking really forward to see what you folks are gonna build.